Welcome to Attitudes with Andy. This is the place where we get to learn and grow together on how we can be healthy, wealthy, and most importantly, happy and joyful and fulfilled. Just everything. Uh, So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, please feel free to press follow and subscribe. Today, we're talking about a really, really important topic. This is how to make friends as an adult. I don't know if I identify as an adult because that sounds really serious, but I am 24, no longer a kid, no longer a teenager. I'm in that awkward middle ground. Anyway, and making friends can definitely be a lot harder because you don't have the consistency of seeing them every day at school or every day at university and all of that. So we do have to put in effort, but it is totally possible. And I have made some glorious friends outside of school and university. So let's get into it. How do you make friends as an adult? Okay, I have a list here because this is a step-by-step process that we can all achieve. Okay, the first thing that we want to discuss is what type of friends do you want, okay? You want to be really clear on what type of friends you want. You don't just want to be like, "Ah, I don't really have many friends. I just want somebody to hang out with because that's just going to get you a very wishy-washy friendship. If you're extroverted or if you're a very confident person, you can probably be friends with anybody. But do you really need to be friends with anybody or do we want to be a little bit more fussy? And Even if you're shy and all of that, again, you want to make sure that you have impactful and good friendships. I'd rather have less friends that feel really good than, you know, your average friends who like you just don't feel very good around. Okay. So what type of friends do you want? Do you want people who run their own business? Do you want ambitious driven people? Do you want people who are really into their fitness and health? Do you want friends who like patting donkeys? I don't know what your cup of tea is, but just kind of jot down what type of friends you want, whether you want them to be quiet, extroverted, energetic, talkative, not talkative, what type of friends you want, okay? Let's get clear on that because then it will help everything else that follows. Okay, next on our step-by-step friend thing. What type of person are you currently? Now that we have our list of our ideal friend, What type of person are you right now? And do you think your ideal friend would want to be friends with you? This might be a humbling question to ask and the one that we might not want to answer, but it is very important. This is probably exactly like what you would do if you wanted to find a partner and you wrote down your ideal partner and then you think, would that ideal partner be attracted to me right now? Okay. But this is a friendship version. Okay. So you have to think about it. If you want to be friends with highly successful you know, business driven, kind people, but you're kind of like not dreaming big and playing it really small and just, I don't know, sitting around all day watching TV, there's probably a little bit of an imbalance there. And I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that this person over here who your ideal friendship is might not want to be friends with you right now, but don't worry, we can change that. Okay. So you just need to analyze what type of person am I now? And what type of person do I need to be to attract the friend that I want? Do I need to just be a little bit more confident? Do I need to start taking my health and fitness seriously? Do I need to start dreaming big and going after my goals? Okay. So once we have that, we move on to the next step. Woohoo. Oh my gosh. Why am I cringing at myself? Okay. Now, before we get into the practical steps, the one last little, little trip trick you need to know is we can't be desperate okay if you want adult friends we can't be desperate for them because again we will just accept anyone we need to have some standards of what friendships we want so don't be afraid to walk alone a little bit until you find your people don't be afraid to just like test trial out what friendships feel good what friendships don't feel as good as you thought they would It's okay to be fussy with friendships. In fact, I think you should. Our time is very finite and you only want to invest time and energy into people who feel good to be around. Because trust me, I have been around groups of people 
and felt lonely on the inside. And there is nothing worse than that. I would rather be alone than feeling lonely with a group of people. So do not be afraid to walk alone for a little bit for a while until you find your people. Because when you're staying in your own lane and you're being the person that you want to be, you will 100% attract your people. So don't worry if you're like, I'm going to be alone forever. I'm going to be friendless forever. You're not. It's all good. Stay in your groove. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I truly believe that. Okay, so now that we have our ideal friendship list, we know what type of people, person we need to be to attract our ideal friendship thing and we're not being desperate or needy, okay? We're just going to play it cool and trust that what's meant for us will happen, okay? We don't need to beg for a friendship or anything like that. It should be a mutual like, oh my God, you're so good. Oh my God, you're so cool. Okay, let's be friends. Oh my God, do we just become best friends? We're going to play karate in the garage? If you know, you know, (laughs) okay? I shouldn't have had that coffee this morning. So sorry, everyone. Okay, next of all, now that we have a very clear idea of what we want, we're going to think, where would our ideal friends hang out? Okay, if you're wanting a fit, healthy person, they're probably going to be at a run club. And there are so many run clubs in probably every single city or town or place. Every man and their dog loves a Saturday run, surely, surely. Anyway, so you can go to a run club. I know what you're thinking, ill running, I don't like it. That's okay. If running's not your cup of tea, go anyway. You can always walk and then afterwards people get coffee and you can chit chat with them. Better yet, I recommend going to a run club that is early on a Saturday or a Sunday because it means the people there probably haven't gone clubbing the night before. All they have and they're still dedicated. So... We love the dedicated people who show up. So run clubs are great. Going to like fitness classes, fantastic. Going to cool co-working spaces, you'll probably meet um, quite a lot of entrepreneurs there. Going to networking events, there are so many networking events. Just hop onto um, Facebook or Eventbite or something like that, Everbite, and just type in things that you're interested in and there will be some group meetup thing for that. So yeah, put yourself out there, go to things, consistently show up. Now, when you do go to them, it is very important that you just feel the fear and do it anyway, in the sense of going to these things alone can be free, fraggedy, scary. I identify as quite the confident person, but let me tell you, when I first moved to the Gold Coast and I didn't know anybody here, I went to so many of those social group wholesome meetup things and I would often feel really icky rocking up really awkward like oh my gosh everyone's gonna know everyone okay but then you just put yourself out there you keep turning up and slowly by slowly you build your confidence and you feel so much better so just go and be confident and strike up a conversation with somebody because everyone else is there to make friends just remember that okay And wouldn't you love it if somebody came up to you? Probably. So maybe you should go do the same thing to other people, okay? And just remember, if you think, oh my God, everybody's in groups, they all know each other, they probably don't, okay? It just, it looks like that. Everyone looks so much closer than they actually are. So it's all good. Okay, once you've gone to your group, you're striking up a conversation, you've gotten some cool vibes from people, This is when we execute. Oh God, I'm getting passionate. I just hit the microphone. Okay, this is when we execute. This is when we follow up. We might follow somebody on Instagram or add them on Facebook or ask for their number, whatever it is. Um, And go and put yourself out there. Ask if they want to go get coffee or if they want to come over for dinner or if they want to go for a walk on the beach, wherever you're located. Go and follow up because one... They'll be like, oh, wow, like they're putting effort in. That's cool. And then two, you can just quickly see whether it's a friendship fit or not. I think when you're first making friends with somebody, it's important in those initial stages to put in quite a bit of effort because you're trying to get to know somebody. You don't have all that history from school or that history from university. You actually have to put in quite a bit of effort. Okay, once you've done that and you're like, cool, they're cool people, you are going to need to put in consistent effort. When I first moved to the Gold Coast, I 
put in so much effort to make friends because you need to build that base level of friendship. You know what I mean? Because the first few times is just like the honeymoon phase of friendship and you just need to consistently keep seeing them. So keep going to your run groups, even if you hate running, keep going to your networking groups and keep asking to hang out with those people. Obviously make sure that they're asking you too and it's taking it in turns and it's not just you putting in all the effort. It needs to be reciprocated, okay, but you do also need to put in effort. Maybe you can be like, let's be weekly tennis buddies because that's what I want. So if anybody wants a tennis buddy, let me know. No, I'm kidding. I have found a tennis buddy, so we're all good. But anyway, I'm really rambling, but I feel like we've gotten through a lot in like 10 minutes, which is just fantastic actually less than 10 minutes. Is there anything else? Okay. The last point is just remember to continue to nurture and grow your friendships. They are really important. And the more effort you put in, the more you're going to get out of. They have done so many research on happiness and long-term happiness. And the best key, the key indicator for long-term happiness is beautiful, solid friendships friendships where you feel like you can be yourself where you can say anything and you won't be judged and where you just feel unconditionally loved those are absolutely key factors for happiness okay so this is an investment and yeah just be picky choose the people who feel really good I call them my f yes friends I won't swear on this, but you know what I'm saying. My heck yeah friends. The friends that when they text you to be like, hey, do you want to hang out? Your instant reaction is like, heck yes, I do. Those are the friends you want to be friends with. If you're friends with people like, oh, I don't really want to see them, maybe spend less time with them, okay? Our time is valuable. Our energy is valuable. And our friendships are so, so precious. So invest in them wisely and just remember, you want quality over quantity. Okay, I believe in you go and make friends and just think about how many cool friends you have will will have that you don't have at the moment. Do you ever think about that? Like, do you ever think about how you might have a potential best friend that you haven't even met yet? Like what? Isn't that cool? Okay. anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to uh, join the party, come over to Instagram at Attitudes with Andy. Come say hi. We've got content to make you smile or to give a little lesson here and there. And please press follow or subscribe on whatever platform you are on if that feels good for you because that really does support the channel. We have almost a thousand friends on Spotify, which is absolutely insane. So please help me get to that a thousand. We are so, so close. Um, and YouTube, can you like the algorithm a little bit better like why am I not popping off on that anyway okay (laughs) I love you all so much I'll see you next week for another episode okay bye